50% of what was the recorded music business in 2001 has gone. Uh, the number of units sold is down by that much. The revenue is down by that much. Um, jobs are down that much. But music is consumed, listened to, played, streamed, um, downloaded, and copies are made more than ever before. How can the film industry clients learn from the music business is to take the internet seriously, not ignore it, embrace it, uh, use it to advance what you're trying to accomplish, but at the same time try to protect your content and change your business model in a way so that there is revenue uh, appreciation as opposed to reduction. And the television business has actually adapted pretty well to uh, the new changes in technology. They've repurposed their content onto lots and lots of sites. In my view, the music industry has to recognize that its uh, revenue stream and business model has changed fundamentally. It will likely never come back to the same level it was before, and it has to adapt its model to achieve uh, financial success. They've tried to do that with a 360 deal, which is where a company takes all rights to a, an artist, including uh, recordings, publishing, touring, merchandising, personal appearances, even management in some cases. The way we try to protect the artist is to evaluate whether or not the company has the ability to work in each one of those fields first, and second, to the extent they don't have that ability, we'll put in performance specifications, minimum income requirements, minimum standards that need to be met in each area. Of course, that's a negotiation. There's no guarantee that the company is going to grant those rights, but you try to negotiate the deal as best you can. New business models uh, are a challenge to determine which one's going to be successful. It's clear that the pay for download is moderately successful in terms of restoring the industry to what it used to be in the music business. Apple iTunes does that and does it well. They've served billions of, of downloads. Now you're faced with other models that come along, like subscription, where you can listen to any song you want if you pay a monthly fee. Or the old ad-supported model seems to have fallen by the wayside. What people seem to talk about more is something called freemium, which is a cross between free and premium, where you get something for free, but if you want the full benefit of the, of the site's offering, you pay a monthly fee. At the end of 2009, beginning of 2010, the advertising market has, has disappeared. The amount of advertising spent is much lower. The benefit of advertising on the internet hasn't gone away because you have far more targeted, uh, you have an ability to target much more effectively than you do on a television advertisement. Mind you, the people who would go to sites for music which are uh, advertising supported are those most desirable in the world because they are younger people, 15 to 20. They make their lifelong brand selections at that age and you pick up your toothpaste when you are in that age bracket and you stay for life. So influence, influencing those uh, consumers is very important. Nearly every state in the country has recognized that film is, a, is an environmental friendly uh, jobs creator and therefore they provide tax credits or tax benefits to production in their state. For example, Michigan offers 40 or 42 percent uh, of a tax credit back to you for qualifying expenses. New York's is 30 percent. California even has one. Plus there are many jurisdictions around the world who also offer tax incentives for production there. Producing the film, however, is only part of the answer. If one produces a film, it may not get distribution because many of the independent distributors have folded up and the majors, major studios, have folded up their independent arms as well. These changes in business models, uh, the credit environment, and the capital availability have impacted the way we advise clients in a number of ways. Uh, the first is to make sure they have a business plan that makes sense. Uh, the second is to make sure they have the capital to uh, withstand uh, peaks and valleys in the response to their offering. 
Uh, and the third thing is that they really do have to have a long-term vision. It's no longer like it was in the dot-com boom of 10 years ago. In terms of what the future holds, I think it's very important to look at 2010 as a clean slate. I think the opportunity exists for high quality music offerings, high quality film offerings, with and without the internet, and thoughtful and meaningful product will end up uh, coming to the marketplace in a way that has never happened before.